Hey there, this is James at Northern Arizona Wedding Sun. Today I want to talk about 12, 24, and 48 volt batteries and what to choose for your application. So when should you choose a 12 volt battery or a 24 volt battery bank or a 48 volt battery bank for your application? Well, this question comes up quite a lot and really it's kind of hard to answer because it's dependent on what your actual application is. So for example, if you're bound to a particular voltage, it might make sense to go with that voltage. For example, if you have an RV and that's your application, typically RVs are pre-configured for 12 volt. And so it most likely will make sense to go with a 12 volt solution. However, there are definitely limitations on the low end, uh, if you go with 12 volt, if you're trying to do a massive RV system with a big inverter system and a large battery bank and a big solar array, then it really probably won't benefit you to go 12 volts. It would rather benefit to go 24 or 48. All right, so why would it benefit you to go 24 or 48 for that application? If you have a lot of power that you're trying to move from a low voltage Power, the simple calculation is voltage times amps equals watts, power, watts. So if you can increase the voltage, by nature you will reduce the current. Current is the enemy of a system. That's all of your efficiency loss. If you have to push a lot of current through a wire, it's efficiency loss, it's losses, period. So if you're gonna lose energy, by moving current to a source like an inverter or from a source like a, like a charge controller into a battery and you're gonna have more significant losses there, then it would make sense to increase your voltage so that you can reduce your current and make the system more efficient. So it's all about efficiency and in general, it's about cost. Right? Ultimately, you're trying to do something, you have a goal, and you wanna do it as effectively and cost-effectively as possible. Efficiency and materials are really gonna drive that. And so if you have to, if you wanna do a system at 12 volts and it's required you know, hundreds and hundreds of amps, then you're gonna need much bigger cable, you're gonna need inverters that can handle much more current, and so naturally those inverters are gonna be more expensive. In general, it costs more money to go with more current. So if you can make the system deal with less current, it generally will cost less money. Plus it'll be more efficient. So off-grid applications. These kinds of applications are usually a lot more energy than a basic RV system. Naturally, if we have to generate more energy and deliver more power because they're gonna require more power, you're gonna wanna go with a higher voltage. Same reason, it's all about current and cost. It does not cost more to go with a 48 volt system than it does to go with a 12 volt system or a 24 volt system. The battery banks don't cost more, okay? It's all about choosing the right battery for your application and configuring them in a way that meets the target voltage of the system. For example, if I wanna have a 400 amp hour 12 volt battery bank, right? 12 times 400 is 4,800 watt hours, okay? Watt hours, that's how much storage we have inside the battery bank. That would be the same as having a 24 volt 200 amp hour battery or a 48 volt 100 amp hour battery. All exactly the same amount of capacity, just configured differently. We have four 12 volt batteries, 100 amp hours paralleled. In this solution, we have two batteries in series, 24, 24, those are paralleled. Or in this solution, we have all the 12 volt 100 amp hour batteries in series for 48 volts. Naturally, they have the same amount of energy storage and they, in theory, can deliver the same amount of power, but the 48 volt system will most likely work more efficiently because it's delivering less current and the batteries don't have to deal with as much current as they would, per se, in the 12 volt solution. Throughout the system, the current's gonna be distributed differently to the batteries. And so 
Naturally, you'll have different results as far as paddle power delivery is concerned. But in general, going with a lower voltage solution is gonna require um, larger cable and equipment that can handle much more current. Going with a higher voltage solution, it, you're gonna be able to pull back on the equipment, you won't need as much current, and the cable sizing and such will be smaller, so naturally that aspect of the system will be cheaper. It really kind of depends on the application at hand, but there are definitely some considerations and limitations uh, that will drive you to a specific voltage. And our team is happy to help kind of make that decision for you. There's a lot of considerations that can be made. I will say a lot of RV systems tend to go 12 volt if you're like 3000 watts or less on the inverter side, maybe 1500 watts or less on the solar side. Um, 24 volt systems, I try to do those for applications in like class A's for example, with 6000 to 10,000 watt inverters, feeding uh, maybe 2,500 watts of solar. Anything larger than that, 4,000 watts of solar, 10,000 watt inverters, it might make sense to go with the 48 volt system. Almost all off-grid applications that I work on nowadays, it just makes sense to go 48 volts. There's a lot more battery options that way, especially if you're considering lithium batteries. 48 volts makes the most sense for an off-grid application. And almost all grid interactive ESS systems, energy storage systems, are gonna be 48 volts as well. And in some cases, even higher voltage, like 400, 600 volt battery banks, which are the same concept, just an order of magnitude greater and thus a lot less current. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about what you should go with as far as battery voltage is concerned, uh, what you should do as far as the system is concerned, our team is more than capable of helping you make that decision or at least directing you to make that decision. So give us a call and we'll guide you along your way. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe and comment.